Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of a and b if we have a plus b is equals to 7 and a b is equals to 7 and we solve this problem for the values of a and b. So here first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. Now first we focus in equation number 1 and equation number 1 we have here we move this a to the right hand side and we get the value of b is equals to 7 minus a and we call this is our equation number 3. So now we use this value of b in equation number 2 so that equation number 2 is implies that here we have this is a b so the value of b is 7 minus a is equals to 7. And now further in the next step we multiply this a on both of these values and it will be written as 7a minus a times of a becomes a square is equals to 7. And now further in the next step uh, here we need to rearrange uh, these terms and we write this quadratic equation into the standard form. For this we move these two values to the right hand side and we have uh, this is minus a square when we move in the right hand side it will become plus a square when we move the 7a to the right hand side it will become minus 7a and this is plus 7 is equals to 0. So this equation will become quadratic in a variable and we know that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation. The first is factorization method, the second is completing square method and the third is by applying the quadratic formula. So here we apply the quadratic formula to solve this uh, quadratic equation. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are capital A is equals to 1, capital B is equals to minus 7 and capital C is equals to plus 7. And we state the quadratic formula as A is equals to minus B plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula so after substituting the values of a b and c it will be written as so now we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula and it will be written as a is equals to minus b the value of b is minus 7 so it will be written as minus times of minus 7 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 7 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 7 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now further in the next step we have a is equal to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 7 and plus minus square root of minus 7 square minus 7 square becomes 49 minus 4 times of 7 becomes 28 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equal to 2. So here we need to subtract these two values and after subtraction of these values we will get here. Uh, this is 9 minus 8 becomes 1 and 4 minus 2 equals to 2. So 49 minus 28 is equals to 21 and it is divided by 2. So you see here uh, these are the two real factors of the given equation. And now uh, from these two values of A we get here the corresponding values of B. So first we write the above uh, two values of a here. So we have a is equal to 7 plus square root of 21 over 2. Here we write the positive value and here we have 7 minus square root of 21 over 2. This is the negative value of a. So now uh, here we need equation number 3 here. So uh, our equation number 3 is implies that we copy down this equation 3 here we have b is equal to 7 minus a and now we put the above two values of a here so first we put this value of a in this in the right hand side and it will be written as b is equal to 7 minus a the value of a is 7 plus square root of 21 over 2 and 
here we put this value and we get b is equals to 7 minus a the value of a is 7 minus square root of 21 over 2 so now here we need to take the lcm of this term and the lcm is 2 so this is 2 times of 7 becomes 14 minus this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we multiply this negative sign on both of these values and it will be written as minus 7 minus square root of 21 and from here we have uh, in the same pattern we will take LCM of this term and the LCM of this term is also 2 and we get here 2 7 of 14 and minus here we multiply this negative sign on both of these values and it will be written as minus 7 plus 21 and now further uh, here we first solve this problem this case and here we have b is equals to 14 minus 7 is equals to 7 minus square root of 21 divided by 2 so this is the value of b corresponding to the value of a is equals to 7 plus square root of 21 and now here in the same pattern uh, we need to simplify these terms and we have b is equals to this is 14 minus 7 and 14 minus 7 is equals to 7 plus this is square root of 21 over 2 this is the value of b and corresponding to the value of a is equals to 7 minus square root of 21 over 2 so uh, here uh, finally we have uh, there are two solutions of the given equation and these solutions are the first solution is uh, we have the value of a is 7 plus square root of 21 over 2 and the corresponding value of b is which we get here from this value that is 7 minus square root of 21 over 2 this is the our first solution and now here the second solution is we have the value of a is 7 minus square root of 21 over 2 this is the value of a and from here we get the corresponding value of b is 7 plus square root of 21 over 2 this is the second value of b which we get here from this value of a so these are the two final solutions of the given equation and this is the our final answer and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos